Oh, faithful cyber companion. Holder of knowledge and wisdom, never, ever again will I leave you undefended against marauding hackers. And I swear that the fiend who violated you will pay and pay dearly. Oh, I, I don't mean to disturb. Uh, the jackal's unrest goes far beyond any intrusion on his person, so... You look so intent on your task, which is understandable. I, myself, find clean air and open vistas conducive to work. The jackal often leaves the confines of Casa de Stone Cold for open oh. air and... What? Casa de Stone Cold? Oh. I... Yeah, it's, it's, it's the domicile I share with the Stone Cold one. There's a real Stone Cold? Seriously? He's yeah. not just the star of your video game? And believe me, Cyber Stone Cold pales in comparison to the real thing. The true icon possesses superior prowess in all matters of danger. It's incredible. Oh, that, that is awesome. <laughs> wow. How well do you know this guy? Uh, well, he's my mentor. And, you know, beyond that, a, a spiritual brother. Aww. You know, all things that affect Stone Cold affect the Jackal, and vice versa. That makes so much sense. A, a, a game as captivating as the saga of Stone Cold uh, would have to have a basis in reality. Nobody's that good. Oh, no. I mean, you are that good. Uh, well, I have constant inspiration. I mean, Stone Cold's battles with nefarious foes are legendary. I just, you know, recorded them for posterity. It was a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. What? I have to know the truth. Uh, oh, please. I, I'm sorry, but please don't ask me to reveal secrets of my master. I can't. No, I, I'm seeking a small reward for having reached level seven. It's not like I'm asking you to reveal Stone Cold's true identity. It's it's like um, Peter Parker can still be anonymous while M.J. Watson lauds the exploits of Spider-Man, right? Come on, I'm dying! I'm dying to know, please! Like, like, in level five, okay? Yeah. Level five, when Stone Cold confronts the demented destructor and his, his hostage-taking denizens of darkness, are they fabricated? Or are they actual enemies of the real Stone Cold? Well, having reached level seven, the priestess should be aware that revealing closely held secrets is cause for termination with extreme prejudice. Yeah. However... <laughs> okay. Um, it wouldn't be wrong to draw parallels to a certain disaster at a local hotel. <gasps> uh oh! Oh! <sighs> the better that I get to know the jackal, the more he dominates. The jackal is extraordinary. <laughs> as much as I excel at cyber games, I can't imagine having the the, the courage to create one on my own. And yet, it was the Jackal's overconfidence that led to his cyber sanctum being breached. Dude. It's true. The ace of cyberspace has been hacked. Well, uh, no doubt that the Marauder got lucky while the Jackal was attending to vital matters of his friend and mentor, Stone Cold. Uh, one can only hope that the Marauders were just trying to test my prowess. For if there was nefarious intent, Myself and all those that entrust me with their secrets are at risk. No doubt your pride got stung a bit with this incursion, but really, how bad could it be? Uh, the priestess has no idea of the potential for doom. There are access codes that open doors to unimaginable places. Well, perhaps if you would do me the honor of extending your trust, we could devise a means to, to find your hacker's intent. Well, I'll let Kate know. Well, just send me an email and I'll check it when I get to the office. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> Maximista will no doubt rejoice that we have had The stalking has got no, to stop. No, but I was just sharing the details of, the, of my cyber troubles. And she just happened to show up again? No, Clean air is conducive to cyber, cyber tasks. tasks. Oh, stop it! I'm on to you, okay? I'm not going to let you get away with it. I'm on to you and your little game. I mean, really, who do you think you are? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make That was trouble. a rhetorical no, no. question. I'm not intimidated by your scary intellect and all the techno babble in the world won't make you pretty or fun or fix that whore you call a wardrobe. So why don't you stop wasting your time and get lost? 
I won't waste any more of your time. Look, no, there's no need to retreat, let alone tender an apology. <sighs> Trust me, Spinel, you're better off without that weirdo. What a waste of space. Maximista, this is totally beneath you. Spinelli, I brought you a soda. You owe me neither an apology nor a consoling beverage. But Maximisa appropriately owes both to the priestess. Oh, don't call her that. Oh, she hasn't earned the right for you to give her a name. I think that is for me to determine. Everything I said was true. I mean, Winifred's a pathetic drone. A hanger-on who's got your head so far in the clouds, you can't even see she's stalking you. Is the priestess not justified in thinking that the jackal has attributes that are, dare I say, worthy of her admiration? Of course you're worthy, Spinelli. No one knows how your attributes rock more than I do. That's why it's so frustrating that you can't see something is up with her. You are being most unkind. You know, maybe it's because you're too sweet and gullible to notice the truth. But I'm not. Winifred has some weird cyber obsession with you, and it's creepy. You can't trust her. Max Mises' words are indeed disheartening. <laughs> 